Hi everyone, Jeremy here. I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering student at Ryerson University. During one of my Why Ryerson Instagram takeovers, I asked you all to tell me some things you've heard about Ryerson engineering or engineering in general. Today, I will be talking about which of those things are actually true and which of them are nothing more than myths. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first up we have, I need to know which type of engineering I want to do as soon as I enter university. Myth. Every Ryerson engineering program shares the exact same first semester courses, so you have some time to decide. And the process of changing programs is actually very simple. All you have to do is just submit a plan change form to the first year engineering office. I actually switched engineering programs three times during my first year. Next up here we have Ryerson engineering has a lot of strange traditions. That's true. There's a lot of, shall we say, interesting engineering traditions at Ryerson. If you come here during orientation week, you will see a sea of purple engineering students just covered head to toe in purple dye. We push a car around campus for 24 hours each year to, to raise money for Sick Kids Charity. And of course, right before graduating, you are invited to what's known as the Ritual of the Calling of an Engineer, where a group known as the Corporation of the Seven Wardens presents you with your iron ring. There's a lot of math in engineering. Truth. Be prepared to deal with math in every single one of your courses, even in your non-math specific engineering courses. But it's okay if you're not the best at math. Don't panic just yet. A lot of your first year courses will build on those foundational skills you learned in high school. First year engineering students can't get co-ops or internships. Myth. While it's uncommon, it's definitely possible. I actually had a recruiter reach out to me at the end of first year about a summer co-op. There are positions out there that don't require you to be in any particular year. I would actually recommend going through the Ryerson Institute for Aerospace Design and Innovation, also known as RIATI. Every once in a while, they do have listings that are available to students in all years. Women in engineering don't get jobs. Myth. I know plenty of men and women who have landed great jobs after graduating. If you do identify as a woman, you can also join the Women in Engineering community. They actually offer their members exclusive access to workshops, networking events, and volunteer and work opportunities. It doesn't matter where I get my engineering degree from. Truth, to an extent. All engineering programs accredited by the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board all have to follow a similar curriculum. So graduating from any accredited program will qualify you to become a professional engineer so long as you meet all the other practical experience and exam requirements. By the way, every single Ryerson engineering program is accredited. Engineering students don't have social skills. Myth. That's quite the overgeneralization there. Engineering, just like any other program, has a diverse mix of students. I'd say many of us have pretty good social skills. Look at me, I'm talking to all of you in front of the camera right now. And social skills are something which are very important in the engineering profession. Collaboration is just something that's inherently a part of engineering. You need a bunch of different engineers and a bunch of people from all sorts of professions to work together on a singular project. Most of your projects in your undergrad are also all group projects that require a high degree of collaboration. Additionally, you will actually take a couple of courses during your undergraduate degree that will focus on improving those communication skills. Engineers know how to fix everything. Whew. So this is one that I get from my friends and family all the time, and as much as I'd love for it to be true because it would make my life so much easier, it is a myth. Engineers are engineers, we're just people, we don't have powers, we're not Jedi. Think about it this way, a mechanic fixes a car, while an engineer designs new systems for a car. Both of them focus on the car, but they focus on two different aspects of it because they're two completely different professions. So don't go around asking your engineering friends to fix your car or your laptop. Okay, I could go on and on with these all day, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to end it here. If you have any other questions about engineering, feel free to drop them down in the comments below or come visit us on the Y Ryerson Instagram and Snapchat. I might even be on there to personally answer your questions. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye everyone.